Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy, the RLC leader. We're doing another reaction to CJD Champ. Or Day Champ. This one is Roberta. Episode, let's get it. So kick back, get you some snacks. So homeboy pull up again and he's like, huh, I know exactly who you are now. You're the bloodhound of Florencia. And it's my lucky day because the cartel got a four million dollar bounty on your head right now. But she just looks at him and says, sorry, but I must leave you, gentlemen. Please take these as a parting gift. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the streets of Rowanipur, the home of gang violence, pirates, mercenaries, and probably every goddamn mafia you could probably think of. This is none other than the Black Air Force Crockpot. So as expected, there is a new challenger approaching to the round table of Black Air Force activity, and it's none other than a maid. I beg your pardon? Yeah. This absolute f***ing demon, this literal menace to society, the bloodhound of Florencia, Roberta, the definition of do not judge a book by its cover, because this is not a maid, this is a Terminator. I would not be surprised if somebody said this is a T-something model. So y'all already know we got the evidence on deck, and it is finally time to observe the maid from hell. So without further ado, Exhibit A. She's a maid, but she's a dangerous All maid. Right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit A, the prelude to madness. So the Lagoon Company ended up taking this job from the Colombian Mafia. And with this job, they have to transfer this boy named Garcia. Now you see, Garcia isn't an ordinary kid because Lil Jit right here is the son to one of the 13 great families of South America. So Reggie keeps on harassing the little nigga. So then he says, oh, you must think this real funny, huh? Just wait till my maid come. So she started laughing her ass off. She like, the f that bitch gonna do? Wash the dishes, nigga. But then he says, well, you see, she's not that good at cleaning or cooking. And when we used to arm wrestle all the time, I always used to beat her. But one time when we was arm wrestling, the mafia pulled up and her arm wouldn't even move. Oh my God, that bicep. Hey. So Roberta ends up pulling up to Rowanipur to find Garcia. So when she gets there, she goes around and starts asking people, hello. Do you know where you could point me to my fellow countrymen? I would like to have a word with them. And these is like, you want to know where the Colombian mafia is at? You got to be out of your damn mind. But she's like, I just want to have a word. That's all. So while this is happening, we cut to Balalaika. So homie right here like, comrade Balalaika, you should take a look at this. Shit. So it gives her this picture and she's like, hold on, wait a damn minute. Comrade, this ain't no damn maid. Look at them eyes. Oh, she got that dog in her. So now we cut to the bar. So Roberta is sitting here waiting for the mafia. So when they pull up, they like, hey, bitch, heard you was snooping around the f you want a bullet, nigga. So she ends up breaking her glass. So then she gets up and she's like, yes, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Roberta of the Lovelace family. Now, please tell me where my master is. I would not like this to get violent. But they start laughing their ass off. They like, go <laughs> what? What you gonna do, throw a dish? So then she starts lifting up her umbrella. So then she says, well, Looks like I'm just gonna have to air this bitch out then. You what? Oh my god. So they like, hey, nigga, shoot that bitch. So they start blasting and she enters the matrix. So after they stop firing, she's like, hmm, y'all got stormtrooper aim. Allow me to show you my new aimbot I just installed. So she started damn, going crazy. Blew the damn niggas. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody get pellets in their ass. Pause. So as she continues to damn, tear she the blew entire the bar out, the goon company taking cover under this table in Dutch like, damn, why do we always get stuck with these stupid ass jobs? So then Revy starts crawling over and then the bartender sees her and look at him. He's like, I swear to God, if you was the one who brought all these niggas up in my damn bar, bitch, I hope you have insurance. So then everything just goes quiet. So homeboy back there like, hey the f Lagoon Company, hey the f is my package at? And Judge is like, nah, OG, the deal's <laughs> off. I ain't messing with that maid over there. So Roberta sees Garcia, she's like, ah, oh, 
Master Garcia, come now, my boy. It is time to go home. Who are these people? Do they need to be eliminated? So then Revy grabs him. She's like, ah, 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 stop, bitch. So her brother's like, hmm, you dare threaten the young master. So homeboy right here tried to sneak her, but then she hits him with the reverse. Damn. No scope. Oh my God. Oh, that's nasty. She is like oh. that. So then she's like, hmm, very well then. So you have chosen death. Time to put your ass six feet on the bitch. So she starts lighting it up with the briefcase. And then she hit it with the new tube. Oh my God, GG, she is out cold. She just really packed up Revy in the amount of 10 Damn. seconds. So then they trying to dip and even Garcia, he's like, please God, take me with you. So Roberta just drops a briefcase. She's like, absurd. Master Garcia is scared of me. So homeboy pull up again and he's like, huh. I know exactly who you are now. You're the bloodhound of Florencia. And it's my lucky day because the cartel got a $4 million bounty on your head right now. But she just looks at him and says, sorry, but I must leave you, gentlemen. Please take these as a parting gift. Oh, damn. Bro, she on demons, huh? Want more from your vitamins? At Nature's Bounty, we give you more. more. Mm, mm, mm. Didn't even stand a chance, man. So Lagoon Company dipping, they gone. Great heavens, look at this absolute demon. She is unscathed and she is hitting the Sephiroth pose right now. And she breaks this window with no effort. This is the Terminator. So about five minutes later, while they driving, she didn't already- God damn. Is she whipping that hoe? God damn. So Dutch pulls out the gun and starts trying to shoot her, but she drives up, grabs this by the arm, and starts pulling what them the out fuck? of the car. And look at him, he's hitting on everything, but she just eating that sh She's not even <laughs> flinching. But her car finally breaks down, so they finally get a chance to escape. Well, but this did not last <clears throat> long at all. Because about a minute later, she is what the fuck? on the roof. So she jumps down and crashes into him and uses her aimbot to take out their wheel. So she crashed into this building, but she breaks out of the car. You surviving car oh, crashes like there. that? She won the wrong series. You need to take your ass to Fast and Furious. What y'all little Vin Diesel ass? And look at this run. Oh my God. She tracking that hoe down with that CW. I ain't gonna lie, she run. is though. So she whips these things out and jumps onto the car. So Dutch like, move nigga, I'm about to shoot this bitch. So he starts blasting, but she whips on top of the car, pulls out the dualies and starts going crazy on the roof. So they end up going over to the shipping yard and she gets cracked by this cone. So they end up crashing and it looks like she's finally out. So they look over again and she is gone. And she is back ready for more smoke. Oh, she's a damn Terminator. So Revy finally wakes up and she's like, damn, that bitch really pulled the noob tube on my ass. I should return the favor. So they start standing off for their final fight. So Revy says, make a move, bitch. Then Roberta says, shut the fuck up, you nasty bitch. I can smell your dirty ass all the way from here, you stink booty hoe. So they start blasting and this goes on for like, God knows how long. It was dark when they started and it's almost morning. Like how much ammo do y'all have? So later on, she ended up putting a bullet in <laughs> Revy's shoulder. And look at this, she like, I swear to God, I'm gonna put a bullet in your little googly eyed ass. So they come out shooting and start running at each other. So they end up hitting each other. So they both down and they about to shoot, but Balalaika ends up stopping them. She's like, all right, ladies, let's cut out the bush. And she done brought the whole Russian mafia with her. So she walks up and says, you know, I gotta thank you, Miss Maid. I was going to deal with the cartel today, but <laughs> guess you done already did that. So she shoots the guns out of both of their hands and grabs one. Then she says, all right, Miss Bloodhound, you could go home now. So Garcia's like, Bloodhound, what do you mean by that? And she says, oh, you didn't know? So she tries to stop and she's like, ah, 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 shut the f up by a bust a cap in your ass. So let me tell y'all, this so-called maid is the bloodhound of Florencia. She is a literal Cuban super soldier, and she is wanted in every single country in the oh world. So Garcia's like, hold on, is this true? And she's like, yeah, it's all true. I've killed hundreds, probably thousands, blushed up, and so many unthinkable things. Huh. I'm an international menace to society. So she's like, my bad young master. I did not mean to deceive you, but it was for your own safety. But Revy's like, nah, f that sob story shit. 
fuck am I going to do with this bullet in my arm? So they like, oh, you right. So uh, y'all can settle it with some bare knuckle boxing. So they about to scrap. So before they start, Roberta says, hey, your shoes untied. Damn. Damn! Send her ass to the stratosphere. So they start going crazy. They box okay. And they over here taking best like, I got a full house on Revy. I'm going all in on Roberta, nigga. So they ended up boxing for like an hour, and then they just knocked each other out. <laughs> so after this, they leave, and she vows to never off anybody ever again. And well, uh, <laughs> that promise didn't go so well, because what we just saw was mild compared to what we are about to witness. There's more? So that was oh, yeah, Exhibit no, A, and it is finally time to move Exhibit B. B. Exhibit B. Oh, uh, shit. What you doing now, Roberta? All right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B, Vengeance and Rip and Tear. So about a year later, word on the street is that Roberta is back because somebody saw somebody in a maid outfit. Uh -oh. So while Rock and Revy are at the bar, this maid comes up, but it's yeah, not it's Roberta. Roberta. It's this girl named Fabiola. So she walks up to him and says, Master Garcia needs your help. But then homie behind her picks her up and he's like, all right, listen, little lady, uh, where is the actual real maid at? Oh. In the oh my god. I mean, fixing that. Oh my god, sweet heavens. So she takes everybody over to Garcia. So then he says, All right, listen up, everybody. I need your help. You see, my maid has gone off the walls again. So what had happened was. Garcia's dad, Mr. Lovelace, ended up getting assassinated by some Americans. So obviously, this didn't sit well with Roberta, because that was basically her father figure. Because Mr. Lovelace ended up taking in Roberta after she was on the run. That's why she poses as a maid. So this ended up waking up her inner demon again. And now she is slowly losing her sanity. So they showed them these pictures, and there were six people that helped conspire with this assassination. So we cut over to one of the dudes, and Roberta is back behind him, stalking him. So he runs away and tries to call one of the people on the phone, but Roberta answers the phone. She's like, my, my, I've been looking for you, buddy. And don't try to call your other friends, because <laughs> I've already paid them a visit, too. And about a day later... Homie's body was found dead and disfigured in a canal. Damn. Her next target was homeboy right here. So she got him chained up on this thing and he like, do you know who I am? And she like, yes, I know exactly who you are, Mr. American. Now you best start talking before your ass start cooking. And yo, she is guzzling down She chomping them hoes like Tic Tacs. And she like, come on now, chop chop, speak up, nigga. And later that day, homie was found dead. And the only suspect, was a woman in a maid outfit. So later on, we cut back to the bar and Roberta pulls up in the bar. Then she says, there's a war coming. Please point me to every single weapon shop in this city. Please and thank you. So the bartender like, oh, hell no. Nah. But then she breaks the glass and she's like, do you think I'm oh, joking? Yeah, yeah. Now, that hurry right. up before I make you a pack. So the Americans are in town and everybody in the hood going crazy. Because all hell is about to break loose. Random gangsters and bounty hunters, Revy and her crew, the CIA and the cartel. All because of one person, Roberta. So now later that evening, the gangsters try to pull up on the Americans, but they end up lighting them up. They say, we rep the U.S. Okay. in this motherfucker. So they end up escaping to the roof, and there is a sniper on the other side. And it is none other than Roberta with the Baron 50 cow. She started unloading on them and she got the new 2-4 sidearm. So then the other dudes come in and try to third party her, but she starts no scoping them with one hand. She is using a 50 cal with Bro. one hand. Oh my Jesus, face up the face were better in this bitch. And then she ends up pole vaulting all the way to another building. And look at the dudes right here, they like, Bruh, I ain't, I ain't, I'm what like, did I ain't they sign up for? So now it's nightfall and the Americans are on the run and the bloodhound is on the ass. So she gets on the ground and starts smelling the ground. And she's like, I smell bitch. So she gets up in this room and she's like, hmm, I should prepare. I should use this hanger as a weapon. So Garcia ends up running in behind her and then he just sees the absolute carnage that she has just left behind. So these do see this guy and they like, hey bro, what's happening, bro? And well, uh, guess who's behind them? Hello. 
So she ends up beating the life out of these dudes with her bare hands. So then this weirdo comes up and he's like, hmm, looks like the bloodhound is more ferocious than ever. So they start boxing. Damn. He, he low-key kind of boxing her up right now. So then he slams her on this table. And then, yo, yo, some weird ass shit happens right here. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. You know, I'm blacking the screen out because I, all you just gotta know is some, uh, Hercules, Hercules, yeah, yeah. Hercules. If you get my drift. Yo, this man Garcia is out here watching this. Oh my God, this is terrible. So why are they getting freaky? He said, all right, you know what to do next. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I got you. With some bullets. Damn. Yo, she really had a gun belt in the buckle. belt buckle. Then she said, you thought we was going to get nasty with your dirty ass. So then she starts beating the life out of this man. She throwing him around like a rag doll and everything. Damn. So then Garcia yells, yo, please stop. And yo, her hand went through his entire skull. So then she's like, oh my God. Oh my God, I did not just do that in front of the young master. But then she's like, wait a minute. The young master shouldn't be here. You are an illusion. You are a lie. So she is about to shoot this no. Luca, oh. But then the Americans come in and save him. So then this even sets her off even more. She's like, oh my God, now they took the young master? They will all bleed and die. So then later on, Revy and her crew pull up. So then old girl tries to run up and attack her, but she bites her sword what in the ass. Fuck? Then old girl comes in with the chainsaw and she breaks the Bruh. chainsaw. So then homie come up right here, but. Oh. Ah. Oh my God. So then Faviola comes and tries to stop her, but then she says, Faviola, have you watered the garden and taken the dog out for a walk yet? And she's like, oh my God. She has completely lost her Damn, mind. She made the now girl Roberta's start chasing them down on a motorcycle and Bella Lyka's up on top of the roof with the Russians. Then she starts talking to the Americans like, looks like you Americans could not get the job done. So allow us to finish it. So they end up shooting multiple RPGs at her and that finally ended up slowing her down. So the Americans hitch a ride with Lagoon Company to retreat. But also, guess who's still hot on their tail? So Roberta got this plane ticket. So she sits down by the lady and the lady says, damn, you smell like ass. Looks like you found that ticket I left you. And this is none other than our favorite nun, Etta. The one that'll light the block up in the name of Jesus. But she's actually a double agent for the CIA. So she tries to swing on her. She's like, hold on, shawty, chill. I'm just trying to help you out, that's all. So she's like, hmm, fine. But after my hunt is complete, I will reward you with a painless death. Damn. So Carl, why doesn't NJM use mascots? Mascots are silly. Saving money isn't. You think I'm silly? Now it's the next day and they're in this jungle. So they head off. So when they get out to the land and they start scouting it, they start to see rocks spread out around the land. And Garcia and Faviola like, oh, sh she already here. She about to make this a dead by daylight lobby. And boy, oh boy, was he right because she was about to make this a horror movie. Because with this scenery, she done turned into the predator. So she grabs this hostage and takes off. Then she stops, cuts off his ear, and then goes into the jungle. So these dudes hunting her down and she is hanging in the tree. So she pops this and then lands on this dude's gun, then kicks his head off and then retreats. So then she finds these other three dudes. So then she pops homie with a musket. And then they finally realize, oh my God, those rods are literally her bullets. She placed them there for them to see what they were gonna get killed by. Then she runs up on this Damn. and pops him right in his face. But then she ends up getting hit by a claymore. And then she ends up getting sniped. But she ate <laughs> and she is still moving. Oh my God, what the f is she made of she just ate a claymore and a bullet and it's still moving but she ended up losing some fingers so she's like hmm i don't need these shits so then she just flings them off oh my God. and just acts like nothing happened so now she's moving in the bushes so she sneaks homie in the back Damn. and then homie starts rapid firing so she runs at him at full speed oh. and she stabs this with the bayonet oh. So then she picks up his walkie talkie and she's like, mm, 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 you all are dropping like flies. 
make this at least a little entertaining for me. So then bro with the ponytail started running at her, but she chucks the whole gun at him. And she's like, hear my war cry. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to. Then she ends up seeing Percy and he's like, yo, please just stop. But she's still losing her mind. She's like, you are not the young master. You are the enemy. But then he basically has to take a whole bullet to believe that it's him. So she finally just stopped it. Dear God, thank the Lord. Like, bro, just look at her. She is beat the f up. So after all of her carnage, she now getting pushed around in a wheelchair. She done lost a leg, an arm, half a hand, an eye, half a hair. And look at her. She's still like, I'll still kill them on God. Alright, she like that block up. <clears throat> so yeah, with all that evidence sent out, there is no discussion, there's no argument. This damn Terminator, Predator, Doom <laughs> Guy ass she took on the U.S. The U.S. The cartel, Colombian special forces. God knows what she did in her backstory, and she technically beat the protagonist. Nah, sit down. That's a wrap. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I think this might be the longest trial to date. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, follow your boy on IG and Twitter. Make sure y'all sub to the second channel. I'm finally cooking over there again, and uh, I am out of here. All right, everybody, that was a good episode, man. I'm enjoying these. If y'all enjoying them, let me know by zapping that like button with y'all power ring. Zap that subscribe button while you're also down there. Become a member of the Core Lantern. It's been your boy, the RLC leader himself, JJ Stewart. And I'll see y'all for the next video. Take care, please. Flying out of here.